It's 3 o'clock, time for the Hour of Mercy broadcast here on Annunciation Radio. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin this Hour of Grace and Mercy with a live and interactive recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Following that, we'll have a Mass recorded this morning at 7 a.m. at Rosary Cathedral, the recording of that Mass. The celebrant for today's Mass, Father Michael Danderan. After that, Sister Ann Shields and the program Food for the Journey, all of that coming up this hour again on this live and interactive Divine Mercy Chaplet is what we will begin with. If you have a prayer request that you would like to share with us, now would be the time to do that. You simply call our office. You'll speak with either Producer Tim or uh, with Ron Finn. Both are ready to take your telephone call. They'll write your prayer request down and bring it into uh, the studio for us to include today. Again, you don't go live on the air. Just speak with either Ron or Tim, and they will write your prayer request down and bring it in. If there's anything on your heart and mind today, any burden that you are carrying, anyone that you are praying for, anything that you are praying for, why not share it with us that we might share it with everyone who is listening and bring it to our Father together in prayer. That telephone number to call, 419 419-868-2966. The scripture says that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much, it accomplishes much, so why not? Uh, bring it to this group of people all praying together, knowing that there is power as we pray in unison, as we approach the Father together as a believing community, praying for our needs. Again, that telephone number to call with any prayer request right now or a prayer of thanksgiving for prayers answered, 419-868-2966. My name is Dave Vacheris, joined by my wife, Eileen. Hello, Eileen. Hello, David. Hi, everyone. And I know we've got lots to pray for. We've got some prayer intentions that have already come in, so we will uh, pray for those. But again, if you have a prayer request you would like included, now would be the time to do that. 419-868-2966. And with that, we begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know you've got some prayer requests ready to go there, Eileen. Yes, Margaret asks for prayers for Terry, who who has a brain tumor. Mm. And so, Father, we do uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. First and foremost, thank you, uh, Margaret, for bringing this to uh, mm-hmm. to our attention, allowing us to pray for Terry. Uh, Father, you know the situation with Terry. I just ask that you would um, guide her and those who are caring for her to the best doctors, the best place possible for treatment. I thank you for all of those who are waiting uh, to take care of her. I ask that all of those who would tend to her needs uh, would uh, would approach her with great patience, uh, with great gentleness, with great compassion, and that, Father, you would be so present in the midst of this situation that everyone involved with her would know that you are there, uh, that you are right there through this uh, through this trial. And I thank you for that, and I thank you that you are accompanying her during this difficult time. All right. Sherry is um, asking for a prayer for a new job opportunity. Mm. And Father, we thank you uh, for this new opportunity for um, for Sherry. And Father, um, we ask that if this is the job that you would have for her, uh, that that door, that that window uh, would be open for her and that no other opening would present itself, that there would be no other opportunity except the opportunity that you have for her. And Father, I pray that as you grant her favor in this particular opportunity, uh, that she would be a blessing to those that she works with and that the workplace would be and those in it would be a blessing to her. And Mallory asks for prayers, continue prayers for those suffering in Maui and the Ukraine. Mm, Yeah, and so much going on in our world and day to day uh, we have new things arise but these things continue so the people suffering in Maui from those fires those that lost their homes those that lost their lives those who lost loved ones of course those who are still suffering and this, Dave yes. as I may add also those suffering in New Palestine as well oh yeah right so so many areas where uh, so some things have taken place in the past that we tend to forget about, and we don't want to do that. So 
We hold all of those up who have been suffering for some time in Maui, in uh, in Ukraine, in New Palestine, in so many other areas where either violence or or weather has caused destruction. And so, Father, we we bring to you all of those who are suffering. We present to you all of those who lost their lives and through these uh, devastations. First and foremost, we pray for the repose of their souls. I also pray for all of those who are affected by their loss, all of those uh, who need comfort and peace right now, all of those trying to understand in a particular way uh, Maui and um, Ukraine and trying to uh, understand uh, your presence in the midst of all of it as well, knowing that we fall, live in a fallen place uh, with, uh, in a, with people with a fallen nature who oftentimes choose not to do the thing that you would have them do, but in fact do the opposite of what you would have them do. And then suffering uh, comes into play. So we pray for all of those who are in that position right now. Uh, we've got a phone call came in from Annette uh, who called for her husband, uh, Denzel, Thanksgiving for her husband to have peaceful death, and he did. And so uh, she had prayed, asking us to pray for his peaceful death, and he did uh, have that peaceful death. And so, Father, I thank you for the life of Annette's husband, Denzel. Uh, thank you for uh, the time that he had to get ready uh, to meet you face to face, that precious, loving, wonderful time that you give us as we enter into the last days of our lives. I thank you for all of those conversations that took place during that time and for that peaceful passing from this life to the next. And just a reminder, Annette, and to all of us in Thanksgiving, Annette raises up this prayer in Thanksgiving, and we join her in that, in this understanding that from the moment that that last breath is taken, before we can even have a thought, that person is encountering the Lord Jesus Christ with unveiled face, already before him, even before we can have our first thought after someone has passed from this life. And we give you thanks for that. And we give you thanks that you are not only um, our Savior, Lord, but that you are there defending us before the Father, asking for his mercy on behalf of us through your own death and resurrection, Jesus. And we thank you for that. And we thank you for that encounter that takes place because as the scripture says, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And we thank you for that promise that is made to us. I also want all of us here at Annunciation Radio and so many others continuing to pray for our engineer, Bill, who uh, has had a persistent issue with his uh, bladder issue uh, that has caused some real difficulties over now these months. Uh, and we miss him so much he's not able to come into the office to be with us. But we want him to have comfort and peace, Father. Just ask uh, as he continues to seek uh, help for these uh, issues that he would have some relief and be able to return uh, to some normalcy and obviously in our own uh, selfishness, we'd love to have him return to us as well. And so for these prayers that we have spoken aloud and those prayers that we carry about each of us in our own hearts and minds, we come confidently before your throne as we pray. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and of earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, Jesus. I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Saint Faustina, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. We encourage your prayer requests. You can send those to us any time, and we will include them as we pray our Divine Mercy Chaplet. You can send those again any time via email to chapletprayer at gmail dot com. Chaplet prayer. At gmail dot com.